Alter. Out of all of the trailer rods that I put into the wall, this was the only one that I was not able to get through. I don't know if I forgot to drill a hole through one of the logs. <laughs> the problem is that I tried to hammer it through and now I can't even uh, pull it out. And those that are watching my videos from the beginning probably remember the first holes that I was drilling through the first and the second log. I didn't have uh, any special tool to know uh, exactly where to drill the log above to come perfectly to come perfectly into a hole on the log below. I used the water level and then I was hoping for the best. Sometimes the holes were a bit off. That's why I also use the threaded rod of 15 uh, millimeters uh, and the hole is uh, 30 millimeters because if the hole was a bit off the threaded rod still went uh, through but in this hole it came uh, to a dead stop and for some of you that are uh, new watching uh, this build because I know uh, after my last video there was a uh, 
a lot of new people that uh, discovered uh, my content and what I'm doing. I'm uh, putting in these threaded rods so that I will be able to better press together the logs and also keep them in place after I cut out the windows. And when I put on the roof, the house is on, a, on top of the hill where usually the winds are the strongest and we get uh, really strong winds during the winter storm. So I would not like to risk the roof uh, to move uh, the rest of the house or something to happen. Other than that, these are the only bolts or uh, nails or whatever that's used to keep uh, all the walls together. There is not a single uh, screw or anything. Also the floor joists uh, on, of the second and the first floor are built completely without any screws or nails. It would be possible to do it also without uh, these threaded rods, but as I said, uh, the wind is uh, what uh, preoccupies me. Otherwise I would for sure uh, do it without. And I was really, really happy that uh, this was the only the only threaded rod that didn't went completely through. All other 11 went through without any problems and that was a great success for me, for uh, the way I did the holes and everything. I'm really happy with this. I just have to get this one out now and find a solution. The one way I was thinking to do it is to weld a drill end onto the threaded rod and then use all of the threaded rod as a big drill and go uh, through the log that uh, doesn't have the hole or I don't really know what is happening there because there is no way now that I can see in. I want to dig this uh, two holes and cement another two uh, blocks on which I will put the support logs of the balcony. And for all the people that uh, didn't follow my uh, building process before the last video of the one year recap, I decided to share this journey with uh, one of my best friends. It's not just a random person that I paid to work and uh, help me build a log house. We really share more than just uh, the building part. Uh, we, spend, uh, we spend a lot of time together outside of uh, building this uh, log cabin. 
yeah, I did uh, one year of building by myself. It was uh, something I wanted. It was something uh, that was a great challenge for me, and I could have been selfish and, but uh, being able also to share it with someone and uh, pass on my knowledge, because also he never did uh, what I'm doing. Even if either me myself, I never did uh, what I'm doing, but uh, I don't know, I just felt this uh, higher calling that uh, being able to share and share my knowledge, my experience and uh, everything onto someone else other than just through my videos. It gives me a lot as a person and uh, I get a lot also in return for the next uh, few months. I'm pretty sure we'll be working together and uh, yeah, also filming the videos together. I try to be very transparent through my videos, also with uh, what I think, how I feel, uh, if I do mistakes, uh, if I do something right. I try to share as much of that uh, and not just uh, show as everything is perfect and uh, a lot of times it uh, doesn't go that way. I mean, a lot. There are times that when I make mistakes and uh, I think uh, sharing that is almost uh, more important than sharing just how everything uh, goes on perfectly because uh, it's uh, from mistakes that I've learned and uh, that other people can learn and not repeat uh, my mistakes. Oh, another thing I remembered uh, before while doing the flip with the wheelbarrow is uh, that uh, there were so many comments uh, regarding the X flip. I did a few X flips in the in the last video. I do that uh, all the time with X, with a hammer, uh, shovel, wheelbarrow, just oh, whatever. It's really natural to me and a lot of times I don't even think about it and after the last video I really saw how many people appreciate that uh, just something as simple as an X flip and a lot of you have been asking if uh, it was first try or yeah that X flip was completely first try I had uh, more I did uh, double flips after cutting the tree uh, that were first try I didn't even put them in because I thought that it's not something so interesting so maybe from now on I'll try to include more of these uh, tricks that I do with tools or whatever
Yep. Come on, man. Okay. Just go I think this is it, one more okay. Yeah
Let's see.
I was lucky enough to pour the concrete for the footings of the balcony. Today it already started to rain again. We had uh, two or three days that was just uh, foggy without rain. And I was also really lucky to have this few days that was warmer after the snow we had in the, in the previous days. But still the weather is making it uh, quite hard to work especially waking up in the morning and seeing every day the fog or uh, everything so uh, humid and wet it's 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 quite hard to be motivated uh, all the time and go out and work but uh, at the end of the day when i come home and when i get something done on days like this it just uh, it feels uh, really good and satisfying and to answer some of the questions i've been uh, getting quite a few people asking me to show the plans of the house or how i'm how i designed uh, everything and to be honest it is uh, as much of a mystery for me as it is for uh, you watching how everything is uh, unfolding i have absolutely no plans, uh, no drawing, design, uh, anything. I'm working uh, completely in the moment as the things uh, come together uh, step by step. I don't uh, plan much ahead. I really don't like working with the plan because uh, in my opinion it uh, limits my creativity. I can be much more creative and I enjoy it a lot more just working as it comes, not even uh, worrying that much if uh, the things are perfect. Also with these footings and with everything, I, uh, I measure just uh, the, the most important things. Then if everything is perfectly in line and in level, I don't worry so much. Also when I was building the walls, I measured uh, one time when I was halfway up with the walls uh, roughly where I am and everything else I was just going by the eye and so far everything is working out yeah I really enjoy it a lot more not having to stress out about uh, all the measurements and everything being perfectly in square and all of that stuff perfection in my eyes is not uh, 
everything being uh, perfect to the measurement. For me, perfection is something else, and it doesn't really exist. Just in, just as in nature, there is nothing uh, perfectly in measures, but at the same time, everything is uh, perfect and so appealing to the eye. That's what that's what I want uh, my cabin to be. I want it to be appealing to the eye and have those uh, mistakes because those mistakes uh, tell really a lot of story. And then another question I've been getting really a lot probably the most is where I'm building this uh, lock cabin and where I'm from. And I'm from uh, a really small country in uh, Europe uh, called Slovenia. It's uh, right on top of the Adriatic Sea and on the eastern side of the Alps. In my opinion, it's one of the most uh, beautiful countries in the world, especially as far as the nature. Really extremely just can't even describe how blessed I feel and thankful to be here and to have this opportunity to do what I do. I know that it's uh, something more than just uh, me building the log house. I got aware of this uh, quite early. As I said in previous videos, I will uh, keep doing my best. I'll try to be the best person that I think I can be and and I'll keep uh, looking for the truth for who I really am. Yeah, getting all this uh, attention, so many people watching, can create some pressure or uh, can make it harder to stay true to yourself. But for me, this is just another challenge and I really like uh, challenges. Nothing that I'm doing, what I'm building, what I'm uh, filming, is far from being easy and uh, probably that's uh, what uh, the universe, the creator of uh, all of this uh, beauty that surrounds me and uh, that gave me this opportunity once from me and uh, I will not back down from this uh, task. I don't have the plans, I don't have uh, designs, I don't have uh, none of that, but I have a I have a strong faith and belief in me and that everything will go just as it needs to. And that, uh, in my opinion, is what matters the most. It's uh, stronger and uh, can guide you better than all the plans and drawings and everything else. If I can inspire just one or whoever to listen more to the heart, rather to the brain and the society to say what is wrong or what is right. That uh, for me is, uh, my mission here is uh, being complete. I think that's uh, all I want to say for now. Thanks again so much for watching the videos. Thanks for all the comments, uh, all the messages and everything. Uh, it's really greatly appreciated from me and I hope to see you in the next video as soon as possible.